Yo, what's going on? Happy Friday, or well, whatever day you're looking at this video. On the eve of uh, what's the pay per view backlash? You guys excited? Come on, give that big uh, excitement. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, word coming out of um, WWE here is that um, Paul Heyman, who is in charge of creative, is no longer in charge of creative. Rather, rather, they streamlined it, and um, they, being WWE, streamlined. And now Bruce Pritchard will head both creatives of SmackDown and Raw. That could be a good or a bad thing. You know, depending on, I guess, how you feel, how you look at the sma uh, ratings for SmackDown. A lot of people are saying SmackDown is a watchable. A lot of people are saying Raw is a watchable. Now, make no mistake about it. Whether you like AEW or WWE, both of them have lost over half the audience since the when they know uh, Wednesday night war, wars have started lost over half their audience proof of fact so it's not like wrestling in general is in a boom is it because there is no actual crowd in this audience that's what is that what's taking you out of watching wrestling could be, could be uh, limited rosters as well. A lot of people don't want to put themselves at risk. But whatever it is, uh, whatever it is, Paul Heyman is not. Back to the matter at hand here. Paul Heyman is not. No longer in charge of Raw, and rather will just continue to focus on his on-air duties when he does come on air once every three months. What a, what a schedule is that? That's a great schedule, by the way. <laughs> How can you get upset about that? But I think when you look at it, listen. I mean, all comes down to ratings, right? Do you, do you give Paul Heyman a pass because of the current situation that we're in? Listen, ratings were abysmal 1.7 not the greatest by any stretch of the imagination not great at all but they were pushing young talent younger talent out with the old in with the new so to speak Garza Carrillo Alistair Vega, Andrade, new talent, new blood. Is that why people were not interested? They wanted new fresh blood, that's always been the, the cry. New athletes, new matches, new scenarios, new characters. That's what Paul Heyman gave you. And uh, were you not happy with it? Why were you not happy with it? What happened? You know, he got new talent. And then people were complaining, oh, Selena Vega hour. Like they had enough of Selena Vega. <laughs> they had enough of Carrillo. Turn a draw day face already. And they only have yet to be 
on our TV screen for a very short period of time. But I, <laughs> I always kind of found it um, unique, I guess. Unique is the is the word here. That you know, our buddy Paul Heyman, even as the uh, uh, the, the the ratings were tanking. He would never get the blame. It would always be Vince. Heck, they would even bring out maybe Russo, who hasn't been with the company in ages. Always someone but Heyman. And even throughout this whole process, Heyman again comes out unscathed. No one during this ratings was complaining about Heyman. Everything is about Rus uh, about uh, Vince and everyone but Heyman. So the question, I guess, is don't you think that maybe Paul Heyman had some input here? And maybe he's to blame for some, uh, some of the reason why Raw has been you know, so lackluster. Or the ratings have been down because they have been down. But listen, they, they, uh, Paul Heyman, it looks like Paul Heyman to me is more interested in you know, uh, wrestling and, and, and um, you know, introducing new talent, developing new ta talent. And uh, Bruce Pritchard seems to be more interested in the, in the stories. Right? In the stories. If that makes any sense. So... Is this move made because, I don't know, because maybe, maybe it had nothing to do about the ratings. Maybe. Maybe it could be a fact of, maybe, uh, or Bruce Pritchard is just a, a yes man. Maybe uh, Bruce Pritchard is always yes, 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 Vince, yes, Vince. You know, let me spin it to you this way. If the quality of SmackDown is any indication of what Raw will be, well, can't wait, sarcasm. Now, see, a part of me is wondering, too, if this is a furlough type of situation due to the pandemic. Heyman was brought into that role to kind of lighten the load for Vince while he concentrated on the XFL. Now the Football League went belly up. Vince has more time to micromanage Raw and SmackDown. And maybe he didn't need Heyman in that spot anymore. Plus, uh, you know, again, plus Bruce could speak. Vince, meaning he could translate to talents what Vince wants out of them if Vince can't do that himself. The, bu the buffer of sorts. Heyman has always marched to the beat of his own drum. Remember the optimism of Bischoff and Heyman a year ago? In my honest opinion, Bischoff, it seemed, didn't even get a fair shake. He was replaced by uh, Bruce, and I could never tell a change in a product from one to the other. You know, he seemed to be Bischoff, the full guy when shit went south. It's very, 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 very head scratching. Very has head scratching.
Listen. Here we go. Here we go again. Now, I know, I, I, listen, am I going to stop watching wrestling? No, of course not. But it just, uh, it just makes you scratch your head uh, time in and time out again and again. You wonder what this new regime on Raw of Bruce Pritchard will truly provide. I hope all is well.